Alrighty, and welcome back to Taste Pin for Chillers, guys. Episode 274 coming at you today. And look what the cat dragged in. Or look what the wind blew in. Alright, hey, you guys remember this guy, uh, Juicy J, back in action for another fun filled episode of the panel. It was a big wind gust. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> but uh, hey, hey, we got a big, uh, a big sauce today to put on as well, Jay. Uh, this one here, guys, is Inferno. I'm hoping you're able to catch that. Uh, this one here, Jay, uh, sent to us by one of our subscribers, the Norfolk Chilihead. Also has his own show. Uh, check that out. Some exciting stuff going on there. Again, just go to my subscriptions. Check them out. Norfolk Chilihead. Uh, Jay, uh, we did a trade. Uh, it was a two for two. Uh, this is the second sauce in that lineup. Mm -hmm. uh, initially, we did the revenge sauce. Really enjoyed that one. If you caught that episode, guys, good stuff. Uh, I'm expecting more good stuff from Chili's Galore. Uh, this one here says... Uh, Homemade Norfolk product, so right in the Norfolk Chili Hits hometown, Peter. Again, thanks for sending this. Says here, Jay, Smoky Naga Flaming Hot Chili Sauce. Okay, burning skulls right there. See, bring it up one more time for you. All right, hey, uh, if you're interested, you want to check out anything from these guys, go to www. Dot chilies galore dot co dot uk uh, chili with two L's in this case. Jay, I'm gonna run through the ingredients here, start, uh, see what we're dealing with. Uh, we'll show them the sauce and uh, we'll take it from there. So it says here uh, sugar, peppers, tomato juice, vinegar, botulokias, and they're at 4.8%, and chipotles at 1%, plus some spices going on in there as well. Jay, chipotles, I know you're a big fan of that type of thing. So I'm thinking maybe uh, this sauce is going to not only be up my alley, but also up Jay's alley. Uh, let me show you this, guys. Again, hoping you can see this. It uh, has kind of like a rich, almost burgundy-like color. Uh, really gelatinous looking, again, as the revenge sauce was. And it uh, looks like it's full of seeds and full of body. It has like, a, like an Asian-y type like body to it. Yeah, yeah plus okay. with the addition of all the seeds in mm -hmm. there, too. Kind of giving the, uh, the illusion of a Thai sauce. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, so guys, um, hey, without further ado, let me shake this guy up. Jay, I will allow you to take the first aroma check here and uh, tell us what you think. You definitely get it some of the, the jalokias right off the bat. Then there's also uh, hints of tomato. Um, the tomato's really coming through in like a like a nice like smoky flavor. Okay. Like yeah. you get like that smoky, then there's like a tomato-y sweet. Yeah, I, the definite, uh, I'm gonna agree with Jay. Uh, tomato's definitely a... Uh, That's like a front runner uh, of front. scent. Yeah, perhaps. Perhaps a, 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 a slight bit of the fruitiness of the jalokias. However, tomatoes are also pretty fruity. Yeah. So, Jay, I'm going to settle in on the tomatoes on this one. Also getting a sweet, kind yeah, of like a sugary sweet. note. Well, that, well. I, was, I was thinking that could be the peppers, too. Maybe yeah. The peppers do have a little sweetness to them. But uh, ah, smokiness, kind of, if any, kind of very subdued. Yeah, very subtle. Okay, well, hey, go to town with that. Fill up your spoon. And the test, guys, as always, in the taste. That's a nice pour. It's like a, a nice, like, well, I don't want to say creamy because it's not really creamy, but it has, like, a creamy consistency with the uh, like chunks it's, and whatnot. It, it's, it's reminding me a lot of, like, unrefrigerated jello or really uh, jello that hasn't had a real hard refrigeration. Yeah, yeah really chunky, guys. Uh, again, seen a lot of seeds, a lot of spices. Again, pretty rich color, almost matching our backdrop here, Jay. The color is slightly more on the brown side. But hey, here we go. One, two, three. Okay, up front, Jay, really sweet. Definitely sweet, definitely. Has that definite sugary note mm -hmm. going on. However, for as sweet as it is, uh, we are getting a balance of heat going. Nice, in. yeah. Well, it goes, it goes sweet and then 
escalates. <laughs> it starts building up. Um, lots of seeds mm-hmm. chewing down on some of that. I'm going to take a little bit more, guys. I forgot the trusty spoon. So I am going to try a little more of this on the spoon. And maybe you see what if I can pick something else up, too. You get a little bit of the chipotle, like just a, a gradual smoke, like a, on the back note after everything seems to simmer down a little. I agree with you there. Chipotles are making their presence known. Uh, obviously, there, it says other peppers are involved here. It doesn't say quite what those are, but I'm assuming the heat that we're getting is the salt of the jalokias. Uh, that has a really nice, a nice burn on the tongue. However, not overkill. No, 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 no. no a real no. natural type of uh, no, it's just a rolling, a uh, rolling burn. Um, the tomatoes, Jay, that I picked up in the aroma, kind of getting lost mm-hmm. in the translation of the sauce, uh, the competition of the peppers and the sugar, and those smoky chipotles are uh, too much for it to really stand so on its own. The tomatoes come through. Yeah, as, as, as a part of the characteristic flavor. However, tomato fans out there don't despair. They surely get enough of that in the nose. Yeah, yeah, so, definitely, yeah. Uh, so we know it is present in here. So... Uh, yeah, actually, uh, kind of uh, gripping me towards the back of the throat, back of the tongue, back of the roof of the mouth area, as Jalokia's will. Yeah, uh, coming right forward. As I'm talking, it's kind of bringing that capsaicin forward, really catching the tongue, and uh, but it hasn't quite, quite made it to the tip of the tongue yet. But mm-hmm. hey, it may journey that way as I continue to blabber and shoot <laughs> off my mouth on today's show. Hey guys, take a look here. Now you can see a little better the consistency of this sauce. It is sort of similar in body and consistency to the Revenge sauce. Uh, Again, this guy here being uh, packing a little more heat, obviously has those ghost peppers in there, uh, seeds sticking in the teeth, uh, kind of a, another issue here of trying to pick those out, really get in the front of my tongue now, trying to just try to pick seeds out of my teeth. So, uh, all right, Jay, what are you, uh, uh, where, where's the heat hitting you on this guy? Um, ba- basically, <clears throat> in the back of the throat. It's like coming up. It's just like a nice warm glow. I feel a little, I don't want to say hot, but I, I definitely am perspiring just a little. I mean, it, it did it did hit on those notes. It was, uh, it, it really came out like the, the heat to make me, you know, like perspire, sweat a little bit. But uh, it's, uh, it comes off very sweet, but then it kind of, it mellows it out. Like, yeah, it's just like a nice rolling, like, like smoky, like like heat, like so to say. It's almost kind of like getting the best of both worlds. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you really like you think at first, wow, man, this is going to be on balance. A little bit too much sugar going in there, but it's really quickly the chili well, flavors rise as well. I thought it was going to come off really tomatoey, like with by the, oh, by yeah, the smell, initially, yes, you know. and, and that's kind of weird because uh, a couple of a couple of episodes in a row here. Uh, to be honest, Jay, I, I, the, usually the aroma coming off of a bottle is usually going to be kind of evident what, what, uh, what it's going to taste like. like. Uh, uh, been fooled a couple of times over the last couple shows, actually, uh, with, with different sauces really coming across different in the nose than they actually do in the flavor. Uh, as we're sitting here, um, I don't know if it's the result of just the stringency of the peppers or a little bit of that smoky chipotle flavor going on, uh, but actually picking up kind of like a black pepper mm-hmm. taste going on in the back Yeah, like too. either a black pepper or... or Coarse uh, grind or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of... Uh, again, that could be uh, uh, flavors being mimicked by other ingredients, but mm-hmm. or it could be that there is actually black pepper in here, though it's not really all that evident. So, uh, really emulating that kind of flavor. Well, it says spices, so that could be salt, yeah. pepper, garlic. Exactly. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So, hey, yeah, uh, wow, pretty good stuff. Again, guys coming all the way from the UK with this one, uh, UK sauces, again, kind of difficult to find here in America, uh, good to have connections going on, Absolutely. so, uh, hey, if, if you don't have connections and, and you don't have access to sauces, you really miss out on some of the world's best stuff, yeah, and, yeah, uh, definitely. uh, this guy here, I, I'm really enjoying the, the products coming from this company, and, uh, 
Again, this one here, a little more heavy on the heat than Revenge. But hey, Jay, it is called Inferno, so hey, uh, there must be uh, there must be something to a name, right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, all right, so that's a good burn. So, uh, uh, would you like to comment anything further on this guy for today's episode before we take a break? Um, I'm fine right now. It, it comes like it comes like like I was saying, like the way it came off, like smelling tomatoey and. And sweet. And when it went down, I was like, "Oh yeah, that's, that's nice and sweet." And then all of a sudden, I was like, "Woof!" woof like a, yeah. a tidal wave of heat coming in, so to say. A deceptive character too, really giving me some like kind of hot saliva dropping down on my throat right now. But uh, hey, we definitely, uh, Jay, uh, survivors like us could can take it. Oh so, yeah, definitely. So, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, good stuff. Inferno again, Peter. Thanks a lot. I uh, hope to do some trading in the future with not only with Peter, but with some some of our other friends over in the UK. It's always a lot of fun to do that kind of thing. So, uh, guys, we are going to take 8 to 10, and we'll be back with Inferno. All right, guys, hey, we're back. I want to bring this up. Uh, chili Galore's Inferno Sauce. Again, guys, uh, take a look at this with the close-range camera. Uh Okay, uh, Jay, uh, really cool, uh, good sauce. Um, my mouth kind of has a bit of, I still have a warming glow. It was basically a back of the mouth, back of the throat area type of sauce. Uh, in the mouth, a little bit of that smoky flavor mixed with uh, an odd black pepper taste. And that's basically what I'm left with, the original sweetness kind of completely disappeared right away yeah, yeah and uh kind of left uh not uh, chipotle the uh, uh chipotles aside nothing like any fresh pepper type of taste but instead kind of like a the dried kind of smoky black pepper thing mm -hmm. all right where are you at jay uh, I, I still have a little uh a warm glow in the back of my mouth uh um i get i get uh kind of a chipotle Black pepper, you know, taste still like I, I probably have black pepper in my teeth or something like that. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. But uh, yeah, all in all, I, I would say it's a really good sauce. It, it actually to me, it comes off as like a, like a mixture of like a sweet Thai chili and some jalokias and uh, 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 chipotle peppers, like kind of like all crammed into one, but just a little sweeter. But the the heat sense of it kind of like changes it up versus your regular Thai chilies. Like most right. Thai chilies are I, I don't want to say bland but they're they're not hot they're not they're hot. They're hyped like, up like Yeah, this. yeah, they're yeah. they're just they're rather sweet with a little heat, you know, just like a little like party type deal, you know, like that that there has flavor. And, and such is the benefit of the added jalokis yeah, into the, jalokis, the sauce, yeah. you know, adding that extra bit of fire to the sauce. Mm -hmm. Alright, hey yeah uh, coming up guys, it's pretty cool. Uh, good to go through a sauce again. Good to have friends. Good to trade. Uh, garden season, Jay. Definitely. Coming up again uh, next month. Probably mm -hmm. going to be starting to uh, start the gardens again. Uh, you are going to be gardening. Yeah, I'm going to do my my normal just uh, regular uh, vegetables and fruits, and I'm going to do hopefully jalapenos, habaneros, and whatever else I can find. I, I do got cherry peppers hanging at home. I got. Uh, just uh, what is it? Uh, Peppercini peppers. Just I got I got all kinds of peppers from very light range, and I'm hoping to get some heavy hitters in. So all right, I was gonna say I, yeah. I was gonna say is he? You know, I'm hearing bells and chairs and all the holiday. <laughs> yeah. is, is he leaving me nah. with all the super hot? Nah. Is it gonna be my responsibility this year? I'm, I'm 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 hoping to to score some. I didn't I didn't really have too many seeds left from last year. And the ones that I do have, I kind of threw them in an envelope, and I didn't mark what they were on the envelope. So I don't. I mean, I'm going to plant them no matter what. Mystery plants. You might get yeah. antelopes. No, nah, no, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're definitely going to be peppers. But of what, of what, right after they start growing a little bit, I'll be able to tell more if you know if they're a jalapeno, a habanero, or right. If they, oh, chocolate hobs out of the blue, yeah. You know, like there, there, there's something for the sense of mystery when you're gardening. Well, it's excitement because you don't know what's going to happen. You know, exactly. It's just, it's, it's, it's like having a child. Is it a boy or a girl? I, you know, I had a few of second, You know, I had a few of those plants last year. Mislabeled plants it grew. It's supposed <laughs> to be one thing. The peppers are completely something else. You know. Yeah. So um, hey, it doesn't matter though. At the end of the day, it all either goes into a oh, sauce or into some sauce. kind of food. And uh, hey, the 
peppers and peppers. Yeah, you know? peppers and peppers. Well, well, if it's not a hot dog, we're created equal. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, I'm uh, sorry. Perish the thought of this thing. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm talking about uh, if you get, if you plan a super hot and another super hot comes yeah. up, you know, it's all a pepper at the yeah, end. Yeah, it's in it's, the end, it's uh, flavor, yeah. So, uh, all right, guys. Hey, uh, we're going to wrap this episode uh, again. Inferno, thumbs up here. Yeah, definitely, man. So, uh, all right, very good, guys. Hey, yeah, uh, till we see you next time, and uh, hopefully we'll see more of Juicy J around definitely. this season. So, uh, all right, guys, hey, reach your Bibles, say your prayers. I'll catch you next episode. Bye-bye.